So after discussion of frame relay multi-point configuration in routing issue, I'm going to implement point-to-point -point network over frame relay on Cisco VR. So again, I'm using same topology. What I'm going to do, I'm going to keep two different subnet for two different permanent virtual circuit. So in multi-point, we assign same subnet out all interface or a router which is connected to the frame relay cloud. But in point to point configuration, we need to make them separate. So you should have a unique subnet out every virtual circuit. So no matter if you're running on full mesh topology or Haven is four, you have to have the unique subnet. So you can go for subnetting VLSM or you can take the different network as well. In my case, I'm going to take uh, 192.168, sorry, I, I'm going to take 100.100.100.0 out this virtual circuit and 200.200.200.0 .200 out this virtual circuit. So in point to point configuration, one, one more thing that you need to know now you cannot longer configure, you cannot configure on same interface multiple subnet. So because of that, you need to take sub interface from hub. And from spokes, you can run on existing interface, which is physical. But technically you can also run on sub interface, even on hub. But in my case, what I'm going to use, I'm going to take two sub interface out hub and rest of configuration going to be sorry rest of interface going to be the same so i'm going to do what i'm going to do default interface as 0 slash 0 slash 1 which basically means make this interface as a default configured so now there is no configuration and uh, on main interface, which is interface S0 slash interface S0 slash 0 slash 1, no shutdown, encapsulation frame relay, which is going to be common on all router. So because of that, I'm, I executed command, uh, same command out every router. So exit out from the main interface and select sub interface 1.1. And uh, here you have 4.3 billion sub interface approximately. In my case, I'm going to select one. It is up to you what you're going to select. And then after you also need to specify on what kind of network you're going to configure in this sub interface or particular interface. So suppose if you have another router connected right there, you can make this virtual circuit as a point to point and this virtual circuit as a multi point. So in my case, uh, here I'm going to use point to point configuration only, but you can do this. So this is point to point. Now the IP address will be 100 .100 .100 .1, 255.255.255.255.0. .255 one more one more command we need to execute on sub interface you need to specify which dlci is going to terminate on this particular interface so this is frame relay interface dlci 100 for this interface or this virtual circuit likewise uh, hop over to interface 1 slash 2 frame relay sorry first assign IP address actually IP address 200.200.200.1 then frame relay INTF or interface DLC is 200 so this is 200 and this one is 100. 
now assign ip addresses on spoke router as i told you earlier you can configure the same thing using sub interface or you can apply one existing which is physical interface in my case i am going to use physical one so this is core router b so ip address should be on network of 100 so 255.255.255.0 no shut down and make sure you do have do so run interface s0 slash you have turn on encapsulation in my case we have an ip address this is 200.200.200.2255.255.255.0 no shut down encapsulation frame really which is already enabled now check the virtual circuit on how so do so i need to execute command right there do so frame relay pvc so i have two local virtual circuit which is up or active you can say now i can send data to the destination or spokes so 100.100.100.2 yes i do have a connectivity 100.100.100. Sorry, there is no 100.100.3. There is actually 200.200.200.2. So 200.200.200.2. I should get reply back from. Let me see. So IP interface brief. What? What's going wrong? It's nothing. so maybe take little bit time so frame relay pvc now if pvc is active i think i can send yuck so i can send packet to the destination so what happen if we going to implement distance vector routing protocol over multi point so exit i'm going to configure simultaneously on all router so router rip version 2 no auto summary uh, no auto summary and then after network 0.0.0 which means all network which is connected with the router and verify the routing table now we can see we do have routing table of 200.200.200 in 192.192.168.01 and 2 similarly we can implement router in hence igrp1 and uh, no auto summary again network 0.0.0 0.0.0 so check it out do so ip route now we supposed to have learn network from the enhance igr as we can see we do have so this is what if we running point to point configuration we do not have issue of issue of split origin 